Call right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with a comparison test for the Zoom H1 and the Zoom H2n. So basically what I'm gonna do with this video is just kind of randomly talk about stuff and then uh, change the, uh, the outputs of the mics and stuff. So you're gonna hear the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition mic, or the internal mic for the Hero 4 Black, and you're gonna hear uh, the Zoom H1, and you're also going to hear the Zoom H2n. So I'll put like little captions and stuff at the top there to let you know what you're listening to. So um, just to give you guys an, an idea of the settings, in order to make this as fair as possible, I've decided to make all the settings as consistent as I can. So for both the Zooms, they're recording at 48 uh, kilohertz frequency range, and they're recording at 24 bit. Now, for the Zoom H2n, normally I put on like a compressor filter, but like I said, to make this, make this as fair as possible, I decided to uh, disable the, compar the, uh, the compression filter and just have it straight uh, 48, 24, and just try to make it as even as possible. So I also have them both at the XY pattern. Now the XY pattern is uh, really the only pattern available for the Zoom H1. But for the Zoom H2n, you have different pattern choices, and like I said, to make this as consistent as possible, I decided to uh, put it at the XY pattern. And I've also decided to take off this guy, the little windscreen that I normally use for my videos, so that way it'll eliminate any chance of um, any kind of audio finagling. And also, like I said, I'm not going to do any kind of audio finagling with this one, I'm not going to you know, use compression or EQ or any other stuff. It's going to be as raw as possible. So, you know, no music, stuff like that. So what I normally do to uh, record stuff on the GoPro is uh, I use a little connecty cable like uh, this guy right here. So basically plug this guy into the side. Then I have a little extension cable that plugs into the inputs of whatever zoom I'm using. In this case, the Zoom H2n, although I'm not using it at the moment, obviously. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just decided to have them all record at the same time and then just kind of ABC them uh, in the video so that way you guys can get an idea of what they sound like. And of course, if there's a lot of loud percussive P's and things like that, I do apologize. It's because I don't have this guy on. So, like I said, trying to even the playing field here. Now, um, if you listen carefully, uh, there I do have the door open over there, so you might get a little bit of breeze and some ambient noise from outside, like cars and random noise from outside. So that's just to give you an idea of you know what mic will pick up what at any given time. So um, I've seen a lot of uh, demo videos for the various Zoom products, and a lot of them are like really super dolled up so it makes them sound you know really good and you know don't get me wrong they do sound really good right out of the box but I think for the uh, for the consumers sake you know I don't want to give them any false uh, pretense about what they sound like because if you know I doll up the videos and say hey this is what the zoom sounds like right out of the box you know that just gives uh, it's a bit misleading you know usually a lot of people put on EQ and compression and various other audio edits and things like that just to make it sound good and they're in an ideal acoustic environment so like the environment I'm in right now is uh, just standard room I don't have any kind of you know sound dampening tools or anything like that you know this is you know like I said this is a no frills no gimmick down and dirty demo so um, yeah so I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this demo and me uh, nonsensically rambling about Zoom products and the like. So, this completes the test. So yeah, this is the Andy song. It's not for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this demo of the Zoom H1 and the Zoom H2n and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.